Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Lucia Shanna and I'm so glad that you decided to join me on this video. If you like this kind of content, make sure to subscribe below and check out my channel for more. In today's video, I'm going to be going through everything that I got for Christmas. Now, of course, I'm not trying to brag with the stuff that I got. This video was just really requested over on Instagram, and I did put up a poll, and it was 100% yes, so I decided that I was going to film this for you guys and show you what I got. Before we dive into what I got, I do want to say Happy New Year, and I hope it's going great so far. I also want to say that I apologize for not uploading like at all in December. I actually don't have my December Boxy Charm or December Ipsy at the time of filming this, so I couldn't get up an Ipsy or a Boxy for you guys. And honestly, I had so much going on that I just was unable to put out content. I'm 100% hoping that that was just something that happened in December and it's not going to continue, but I'm really, really hoping I can get an Ipsy and a Boxy Charm up for you guys in January that is the January Ipsy and Boxy Charm. I can still upload the December Ipsy and Boxy Charm if you guys want me to. Just let me know in the comments down below or simply like this video. So now let's dive into what I got for Christmas. So I think I'm going to show you guys the items I got in a specific order. I'm going to show you items that my mom got me, my sister got me, and Dylan got me. So let's start with my sister. We generally only get one or two things for each other and you guys will see what I got her coming up in my Disneyland vlogs. I have been obsessed with the concept Concept of the Dyson air wrap and stuff like that. So I wanted to get an ionic hair dryer and I found one that kind of looked like the Dyson in terms of like colors and stuff. And honestly, I just needed a basic hair dryer. I didn't want the Dyson just because I don't need it. So that is what my sister got me. She got me a hair dryer. This is the OLV ionic hair dryer and I have used it already and I really enjoy it. There are quite a few attachments, so I'm going to open up the box and show you. So when you first open it up, here is what it looks like. This hair dryer does fold, which is actually really nice for trash. So you just tilt this back and then it's ready to use. It has a cool setting and then two heat settings. And you can use a hairdryer just like this. It does plug into the wall. But then there are three attachments that came with this hairdryer. And they are magnetic so you just clip them on. So this is the first attachment. This is the second attachment. And this is the third attachment. I've used this hairdryer on the cool setting without an attachment. And then with the first attachment. And I really like it so far. I'm I'm glad I got this because I didn't even have a hair dryer, so this is perfect. Next, I'm going to show you guys the gifts from my mom and dad. I'm really excited for this one because they got me something that I have been really, really looking forward to, and that is candles from Magic Candle Co. If you don't know what Magic Candle Company is, they're a company that makes candles based on scents from Disney and Universal. Besides the fact that I absolutely love this mailer, let's dive in and see the scents that I got. So I'm going to start with the wax melts. We do have a burner but we really don't use it but I wanted to get some wax melts in case we do want to use it so my mom got me four wax melts and the first one is flying over Fiji which is of course inspired by Soren and I am absolutely obsessed with this scent and I honestly think I'm going to buy the candle version of Fiji this smells so good and it is 100% the exact scent that you smell in Walt Disney World and Disneyland fun fact the Fiji scene is my favorite part of Soren besides when you go go over Walt Disney World slash Epcot and the Disneyland Park. Next up is a scent that is very, very, very dear to me, and that is because this scent is based off where I got married. If you didn't know, I got married at Disney's Hollywood Studios Tower of Terror, and those vlogs are coming up very, very soon, I promise. I have been working very hard on them all of November and December, so they're coming very soon, but this is Terror. So this is themed after the Tower of Terror, which is kind of funny because I never realized Tower of Terror really had a scent, and then when I smelled this, I was like, you know what? Yeah, it does kind of smell like Tower of Terror. I don't think that this is a 100% exact match, but it is pretty close to what the tower smells like. I also really love the color. I think it fits perfectly with the theme. I think this was a very cute addition to the items that I got. And the third wax mount is a very, very famous item from Disney, and that is, of course, the churros. So this is a churro-scented wax mount. I think I've only ever had one or two churros in Walt Disney World, but I definitely made it a point to eat a lot of churros in Disneyland. You'll see that in the vlogs. But Dylan and I really enjoyed the churro 
churros in Disneyland. But when we go to Walt Disney World next, I'm definitely going to grab a few churros. I want to see how they compare. I've always heard the Disneyland churros are better than Walt Disney World. So that is next on the list for when we go to Walt Disney World. But for now, we have the churro wax melt. I think this one is pretty close to the actual smell of churros. It does smell a little bit more cinnamony to me than the churros do. But it's a really, really close scent and I am excited to use this. And the final wax melt is a scent from Universal. I've been to Universal quite a few times and every single time I have to do this one thing. And if I don't, I'm usually pretty upset. And that is of course grab a butter beer. It doesn't matter if it's ice cream, hot, cold, frozen, etc., etc. I really, really, really enjoy butter beers. Of course, I had to get the buttery broomstick brew. This one is probably my second favorite scent out of the wax melts. This smells so good and so close to butter beer. I'm really excited to burn this one I think it's going to make the house smell so good and it's definitely gonna make me crave butterbeer so I should probably find a recipe online so I can make that but that is all for the wax melt since I now have my own apartment I have been burning candles like crazy I just think they add a really nice vibe to my apartment so my mom got me quite a few candles so let's dive in so we're going to start with my 7.25 ounce candles I have four of those and I'm really happy with the scents my mom picked out for these four candles she did get me one candle in the larger size so larger than the 7.25 ounces and she picked the absolute perfect scent. I am really impressed honestly but let's go over these 7.25 ounce candles and let's start with the place that's near and dear to my heart, the Grand Floridian. So this candle is called the Floridian and it is red. They have a popsicle stick looking wick which I really like. I think that's going to burn a lot better than the really small wicks. This one smells like home and I'm absolutely obsessed. I will be repurchasing this candle 10 times over. It reminds me of all the time I've met Richard the doorman and it reminds me of all the other doormen and all the wonderful people that work at the Grand Floridian. Shout out to you if you work at the Grand Floridian. This is also another one where I was like mm, does the Grand Floridian really have a scent? Like I know it has a scent but I don't think it's that strong that you can make a candle and then when I smelled this I was like yep this is it. This is exactly it. I will say though that the villas doesn't really smell like this. It's more of the main lobby but I do frequent the main lobby a lot when we are staying there. I love, love Enchanted Rose. I just love going and sitting there. Of course, the Christmas tree during Christmas time. And I've actually never seen the gingerbread house, so I definitely need to do that soon. But this candle could not be more perfect. Like I said, this is home, and I really enjoy this. After a long day at Magic Kingdom, while you're eating your way all through the lands, and you're about ready to head home, you get to pass the bakery on Main Street. I know in Disneyland, Dylan and I were definitely a sucker for the bakeries and places to get candy apples. The only thing I wish we would have been able to experience was the candy canes, but they were not out yet, which was a little upsetting. But this candle is bakery on Main Street. This candle is yellow and once again with the popsicle looking wick. I don't really know how to describe this scent to you. Sometimes I think it smells like pickles, but other time I think it smells like buttery cookies being made. I really don't know why I smell pickles. I can't wait to burn this to see what I think it actually smells like. I almost want to burn it right now because I am totally smelling pickles. Honestly, this company should make like a Starbucks on Main Street or like coffee at the castle. I wonder if they have that. That would probably smell really good. Anyways, the next candle is ice cream parlor. Now I will say that I don't typically get ice cream in the Magic Kingdom. I actually don't know if I ever had like ice cream ice cream in the Magic Kingdom. I've definitely had plenty of Dole Whips, but I don't make it a point to stop at an ice cream parlor on the way out. This candle is white and then once again with the same wick. It smells really good. It does smell like a sundae. I was gonna say it smells like fudge, but it doesn't. There's like a really good mix of like ice creams and just overall a sundae. And for the last 7.25 ounce candle, we have a very, very classic Disney breakfast food, mouse waffles. This is such a classic Disney breakfast item that my little haul would not be complete without the waffles. This candle is very exact to the scent of the waffles. It smells very buttery and syrupy. It smells so good. Funny enough, I actually don't think I have had Mickey waffles in quite a while. I've been trying to expand what I eat at Disney World and Disneyland. I ate so much at Disneyland. It wasn't even funny. Of course, I had to get beignets and a mint julep and all the things that are exclusive to Disneyland but I didn't even get any waffles. But then again, we didn't really eat breakfast on property anywhere. We just grabbed a churro. But this is a really nice scent and I'm very excited to have this. All right, and our final item from Magic Candle Co. is probably my favorite food item on Disney property, mainly because I absolutely love pineapple. And this candle is the Pineapple Whip and this is, of course, after the Dole Whip. Now this is their big
bigger candle. Here is a comparison and here is the inside. As soon as you open up the lid, you instantly smell pineapple. I didn't really notice that with any of the other ones besides the Floridian, but this one you can really smell. It is strong and I am so excited to burn this candle. If you're a fan of the Polynesian or Dole Whip, this is definitely a candle to pick up. This is my final item from Magic Candle Co. And the next item is an item that my mom ended up getting me because my socks were dirty. You know how that goes. So I got Adidas no-show socks. I really enjoyed the Adidas ankle socks, so she picked these up for me. They come in gray, white, and black, so you have a bunch of options to match to your outfit. I think the Adidas ones are super comfortable, and I would definitely use these. If you know me, you know that I almost exclusively wear yoga pants. I generally wear the Victoria's Secret yoga pants. I think they're really, really comfy, but I wanted to try Lululemon to see what all the hype was about. I got a size 2, and it looks extremely small on camera. I promise that it fits, but I wanted to try out Lululemon and see what it's all about, especially because, you know, it's $98. I definitely have some thoughts on these. I've now worn them quite a few times. I think I want to do a video where I compare Lulu to dupes off of Amazon. If you'd be interested in that, let me know in the comments down below. And the final gift from my mom is something that I've been really, really wanting, and I have almost bought myself like 10 times. I feel like I have talked about it before. It is from Chanel, and this is the packaging it came in. I thought this was really cute. I don't know if this is the holiday packaging. I would think it would be because there's just a little flower right here. But I did get something else from Chanel and their packaging was a lot different. It's kind of cool to see the different packaging for the different items. But I got the Cult Classic Chanel number 5. So this is the limited edition packaging for the anniversary. This is actually just paper and this is just a little thing that holds it together. So you just take that off, open it up, and here is Miss Chanel number 5. Now I already know that you guys are going to tell me that I'm going to smell like an old grandma, but I love Chanel number 5. It lasts forever. I'm picking up Mademoiselle soon for sure. I don't know. I love this powdery smell. I am honestly obsessed with it. It is what it is. I will smell old because I like it. But this is the 3.4 fluid ounce perfume. And like I said, this is the original Chanel number no. 5. I did also get a sample from Chanel. And I love when their samples come in this little bag. My mom chose a illuminating cream for the sample. And now let's move on to the other Chanel item that I got. We are now into the gifts that Dylan got me. But here is the holiday packaging. This one is actually actually just a little wrap and it slides off and then you can get into the box. This one is definitely going to get displayed along with the other one but I'm obsessed with this holiday packaging. And he got me the La Base Mascara. If you guys don't know this is my absolute favorite primer mascara. Now I know Chanel is not cruelty free so I try not to use this a whole lot of times but it really is the only product that has done really well for my lashes. I have quite a few other primers and they do relatively the same thing but I noticed the best results with the Chanel one. This is the wand. The La Base came with two samples. I got a sample of Chance and a hydrating cream. So that is all from Chanel and I am going to pause the gifts that Dylan got me and I want to show you guys a gift that one of my customers got me and she gave me Ariana Grande's Cloud. I have yet to actually use this perfume. I have smelled it and I really enjoy it so far. Although her packaging always confuses me. It takes me forever to get this out but this is super cute as a display item. I think I'm going to to display perfumes over on one of my drawers. But here is the actual perfume. The bottle does remind me of the Chanel Chance bottles, just on a smaller scale. But this is super cute and I'm very excited to use this perfume. So let's get back to what Dylan got me. So once again, if you know me, you know that highlighting is probably my number one makeup product. I love highlighter and I especially live for Jeffree Star highlighters. I really enjoy his Extreme Frost. I got my first one in a mystery box and I have not bought one since and Dylan actually finished my collection because Jeffree Star had a $12 sale on these Extreme Frost which was insane so I was like oh this is definitely a really good Christmas present you should grab that so this first one is Gag Me Sour Ice Lick My Glit Choking on Ice can I just say I'm obsessed with the purple packaging Burn Magic and Cold Hard Cash. These formulas are some of my absolute favorites. They are glitters and they look so good. These are so much fun. I love these highlighters, especially if you are extra like me in the highlighting department, you will love these. But I'm really glad that Dylan finished my Extreme Frost collection. Like I said, these are some of my absolute favorite highlighters. I just could never pull the trigger on buying them because they are $50. So when I found out that there was a $12 sale, I immediately told Dylan to get this for me for Christmas and I'm really glad he did. And the final 
final two items of the Christmas 2021 haul is from Kate Spade. And I absolutely love Kate Spade, but it is a card holder. Now, I do not use card holders like this generally, but I'm so obsessed with this, so I had to have it. It comes in a multitude of colors, including black, silver, pink, but I went for a champagne gold color. I think these sparkles showed up the best in this color. There is a black passport book with a luggage tag that I am absolutely obsessed with. I already have a passport cover by Kate Spade that's pink, but I think I'm going to have to go back and get that black passport cover and luggage tag because it's beautiful. But I just got a sparkly card holder. I feel like this really matches my personality and it usually just matches me in general. My phone actually is rhinestones. On the back, I absolutely love all things glittery and sparkly. So this was an absolute must for me. And the final item is also from Kate Spade. It's a great way to end this. This purse that I got from Kate Spade is to die for. I don't think I've ever been more excited to have a purse in my collection. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love my pochetti and my Kate Spade backpack, but this item is so cute. This is the heart crossbody in chalk pink, and this is to die for. It has little handles, and then it also has a strap, and I'm obsessed. Honestly, I don't even know how else to contain my excitement, but I am 100% obsessed with this bag. They also have a fuzzy pattern, which was in a more of a hot pink color, and I thought that was cute, but I didn't think that it would be wearable for me. There was one that was black with white polka dots. That one was super cute, but pink is my color, and I often do wear all black outfits, and I think this would be a really nice pop of color, but I also have a shirt and Timberlands that exactly match this color. So I'm thinking about that outfit in my head, and I'm just thinking about how Instagrammable it'll be. But the bag just opens up like this. It is so cute on the inside. There is the spade pattern in the color of pink. And then on this side, there is a mini card holder for you to put your cards in. I'm honestly obsessed with this bag. I don't know how many more times I can say that. I think this is going to be my new go-to bag. I definitely felt like I needed a new bag in my collection, and this is perfect. So that is all the items that I got for Christmas for 2021. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanted to see me do this next year, let me know. I was really unsure if you guys wanted to see this video or if you didn't want to see this video because I know absolutely everybody does this video. But I figured I needed to come back on here, talk to you guys, and I felt like this video was a good way to start the new year. Like I said, I'm going to try really hard to get content out to you guys. I know I promised you guys that I was going to do more makeup videos once I got into my studio, and it honestly just got so hectic. So my new year's resolution is definitely to fulfill that and give you guys as much makeup content and content as possible. Like I said, the Disney videos are almost done. We're like so close. And I would definitely be trying to give you guys more tutorials and posting more regularly because I definitely failed between the November and December range. And I do apologize for that. But Happy New Year, friends. I really appreciate you guys watching this video. It means the absolute world to me. If you like this video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, all of that. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Feel